Can't believe it, I'm finally back. Okay, it's been a long time since I've done a video. In this, I'm going to show how I uh, set up a bar feeder for our lathes. Um, and this is going to be catered toward uh, more of a beginner. Um, this bar feeder, I believe, is from 2004-2005. And with this setup, with the rapids on the keypad, you got 5%, 25%, 50 and 100%. If you hit the angles rapids, the bar feeder will adjust with that. So if you're doing a 5%, 25%, it'll slow down. The older machines that we have, like before 2000, they don't do that. It's 100% and that's it. Now the newer stuff they have, I'm not very familiar with yet. Uh, the newer bar feeders, I know they, they pull in and out. So I'm not familiar with those. Um, okay, I'm done. So I just wanted to jump in here real quick and explain this um, in case someone's not understanding. I tried to explain it in the video, but 
I'll just do this anyways. So, part length plus cutoff. The part I'm making at work was two inches long and, oops, I had a 1 16th uh, parting bit and I'm allowing 25 thousandths for facing when it loops around for the next cut to advance the part out. So that's 2.087. This, that can vary. You can go a little bit lighter, but you have to have a little bit extra to allow the, the facing cutter to remove some material. So that's that. The initial push is 2.3 inches. Now what does that mean? When you do your G105 Q4 and get that all set, your stock's going to come up and say you clamped your collet and the end of your chamfer on your bar stock is parallel or even with uh, the chuck. Close the collet, boom, done. G105 Q4 is all set. So now, I personally like to do a G105 Q2. So what does that mean? That will advance your bar 2.3 inches out. So if you write this in MDI, and hit cycle start, it will take that dimension and push your bar stock out 2.3 inches. Connect the dots. You're gonna probably most likely set your work offset right here. That could be whatever, 55, 56, 57, but for this demonstration, 54 and then the minimum clamp 900 is how much stock you want left in the collet before it takes or it goes back to advance another bar so usually this you got to be careful with depending on what you're doing if you have a three jaw chuck those are usually an inch and a half tall so you may have to play around with that a little bit but we have a 5c collet on this machine so i keep it 900 or one inch and on this demonstration it's three quarter inch bar stock and i'm on um, <coughs> excuse me i got tongue tight and i'm using a three eighths inch uh push rod we do have a three quarter inch push rod we use for bigger material heavier stuff very rarely. So other than that, that's why I wanted to explain what that meant. And that's it. Okay. I almost forgot there's more to this. Maximum number of parts. How many parts do you want to make? I don't know, 100. So you would type in 100 parts. <laughs> forgot my reason. Hold on. Okay. Say you guys just want to do, I don't know, five bars. You would type in five bars. Or you say, I only want to do two feet as far as a run. Maximum length of run, you would type in 24 inches. And that's what that one area means. Um, so that's that. Usually maximum number of parts I will fill out. Because certain jobs that we do, you know, maybe a thousand parts, you have to type it in. Okay, length of longest bar. Now, we usually cut a lot of our stuff at three and four feet. I like to add a couple inches onto that. So, if we're cutting a four foot bar, I personally would write 50 inches. Um... I don't like it to ramp so fast up to it. I like to 
And then sometimes I'll slow it down to 25% just to visually watch, make sure everything's going okay. Minimum retract, what does that mean? In the video you're gonna see it says 12. That means I'm 12 inches away from home. So the bar, so if I got this set at 12, it's not going all the way back home after every cycle. I have it so it sets where the, the push rod's just behind the bar liner. Usually it would be set to zero, but for beginners, I would set that for zero until you're comfortable, then you can keep it up a little closer. I think that covers that. I'm done.